Move to GTE Pro now in the uh, 99 Aston Martin Racing uh, crew, uh, Fernando Reese and Richie Stanaway. Uh, Richie, just because you're to the left, I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, congratulations. That was a hell of a first lap straight out of the box. Uh, there's a skill to turning on new tyres, as Julian's finding out. But you got onto that really quickly. Yeah, the conditions were a lot different to what we were used to, so uh, it was just a matter of trying to capitalise on that. And uh, my first lap just didn't quite maximise it, and then put a better lap together on the second flying lap, um, although the tie peak had gone away. But uh, yeah, I was happy to hand the car over to Fernando at the top of the timesheets, and then uh, he did a, an amazing job, did a really good lap, and uh, yeah, come away with the pole, so uh, really happy for the team. They've uh, been working really hard to, uh, to give us the car we needed, so uh, yeah, really proud of them, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the race tomorrow. Uh, Fernando, congratulations. Another sterling job from you as well. Bit of pressure on. You took the car over in provisional pole and then it, it's all on you at that point, isn't it? Yeah, at the same time uh, it feels a little bit easier. We had a comfortable gap to, to P2, so it made my life easier for sure that Richard got such a fast lap. But yeah, we knew we would be, we would be fast. We just didn't know uh, exactly how the competition would be. Mm. Uh, we didn't have enough time in the dry track to actually show our best performance and we, we judged that the others were in the same condition. But yeah, I mean, we every step every step that we changed in the car was in the right direction and we got a good, very good compromise and in the end it was, uh, the result was just uh, the joint work of the whole team and both our laps uh, combined that, uh, that got us the, the ball and it's an important point for us, we start our recovery after a race that uh, didn't go Exactly as we planned uh, in Silverstone, so it's the first point of a recovery that we we'll try to 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 continue tomorrow. A bit closer than you might have thought at the end, with Jimmy jumping back in the Ferrari and putting in a a, a cracking time there. That must have had you a little bit worried. Yeah, well, we knew we, they would be very very fast, uh, but at the same time we knew that the gap that Richie uh, got us, uh, comparing to to Tony, and and their run. It, was, it would be that very difficult to be that much quicker than the lap that I got uh, to get Paul uh, to steal it from us. So, But yeah, we know we'll, they'll be very fast as always in the race tomorrow, Ferrari and Porsche as well. So it just, you know, qualifying is not everything, but it's not bad at all to, to start from Paul and to get that point. Well done. Thank you. Last part by certainly no means least. Uh, this is all getting a bit easy for you, Paul Dallalana. First time doing qualifying at Silverstone. Plan planted it on pole position. And, well, you know, couldn't respond to the same thing again. You're getting the hang of this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, listen, it's, um, it's a, a real team result, of course, but uh, for me, in any event, to get in after Pedro's lap, which was, uh, I'm not sure he didn't use the, uh, the pro tires on that one. He had a screamer on there, so it certainly is a lot more comfortable knowing that, uh, that we had a gap. And, and uh, for me, I mean, what can you say? Spa in the dry, it's got to be one of the greatest places you can be. In the wet, it's a bit scary, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to be happy tomorrow. I think we're going to be all right. What have you learned about the car in that final free practice session and, and for the race tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, uh, our car really likes uh, high speed tracks like this, so we knew it would be good, and, and, and so it very much is. And I think the surprising thing for me in any event is the grip of the track. It's yeah. incredible out there. And so, really, you know, don't quite have the muscle memory that, that Pedro does around here. So. You know, just getting confident with what you're doing and working up to, you know, you hear people saying they're flat in Eau Rouge now, which is something for a GTM car, I think, so uh, it's uh, pretty impressive. So that's, uh, that's, our, that's my personal process anyways, but... Hang on, uh, Pedro, uh, what, 1,300 kilo GT cars flat through Eau Rouge? Really? Yeah, with new tyres. <laughs> <laughs> what about your teammate? Um, he's, talk he's given you a bit of praise there. But you guys were the fastest, uh, put in the fastest two laps of that GTM session. He's uh, he's taken to this qualifying thing and he's he's making it his own, isn't he? I mean, Paul did a great job. I mean, Silverson and here in qualifying was great. Otherwise, uh, would not be possible because he was he 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 catched the gap. He uh, put the gap bigger, so mm -hmm. he was the fastest. Um, and um, the car was really good. When I went out of the box. Uh, after the, 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 the pit, I was amazed how grippy was the track. I think it was one of the best days of 
uh, spa I drove around. I mean, I drove a lot here, but the, the track was really grippy. I believe everybody felt the same. And um, we just could push. Uh, new tires, push maximum. The <laughs> more you push, more you faster you go. So it was really nice. I mean, the team did a great job, and I'm, I'm very pleased to be on pole again.